Hey friends, today is the big day. I uh, got all my dirt spread out. I put a second coat of stain across the bridge. Uh, I got my red ribbon. I got my red ribbon, some crepe paper. And listen, we're about to bring the first vehicles down. It's Saturday my time. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna set my camera up and hey, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, well maybe I've been waiting for this moment. Maybe, I, I don't know if you've been waiting or not, but I've been waiting. So y'all join me. This is gonna be a lot of fun. This is the first time we're seeing this. You guys keep watching. Mr. Huck, our fearless lead, will be the first one to try it out. Oh my goodness. He says it works, Daddy, it works. Oh my gosh, not the big galoot Brady. Brady, you're too fat for that. Oh, Brady? No, sir. Brady? Go across the bridge. Brady, that's a 24, that's a 24 inch bridge. Okay, well, Mr. Huck can do it. Guys, I'm gonna burn that. I'm gonna burn that. That's a fire waiting to be burnt, so don't judge me. I will burn all that. The kitty cat has learned to use the bridge, and now Brady, Brady wants a guardrail. Guard, Brady's like, can I get me a guardrail on this thing? I am on the very last phase of the bridge building project and I want to take you along with me. I am about to spread out the dirt that was dug up out of that area where the culvert used to be, that void. Guys, <clears throat> this has been a really awesome experience. So, for, it, it may seem, when you look at it like this, you're like, much ado about nothing. Much ado about nothing. But what is underneath here? I can't walk on it because it's still wet. We just put the stain on it a little bit ago. I did spread that side. But uh, what is underneath here is something that I am certain will last well, it'll outlast me, and it will hopefully last long into whoever eventually lives here. This is going to be a bridge slash cattle guard project. Plus goat bridge. We can't forget about our goat bridge. <laughs> that will be here a very long time. And this could not have happened without those of you that supported me and never gave up on me and encouraged me along the way. And uh, I can't help but reflect back to another time when you guys were just as supportive. It wasn't, this project here wasn't near as hard as the first one, which is the Hurricane Harvey rebuild after Harvey flooding. When I was also pushed and encouraged by so many of you guys, but, um, after I spread this dirt, 
and I load up these extra materials and I have to get me a get a little bit of spreading over here and then burn that fire. We will officially be done here, my friends. We'll be done here. Uh, animals can't fall into it. I know you'll be happy about that. That was huge. And um, I can't wait to drive over it. She thinks all my jokes are corny. Convict movies make her horny. She likes ketchup on her scrambled eggs. She swears like a sailor when she shaves her legs. She takes a lick and keeps on ticking. I'm never gonna let her go. He ain't got late in the month of Sunday. I caught him once and he was sniffing my undies. He ain't that sharp, but he gets shit done. Drinks his beer like it's oxygen. But he's my baby and I'm his honey. Never gonna let him go. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big dog prize. We're gonna spy. Alright, so I did one last thing to hopefully appease everyone that's worried about the goats escaping through there. I got me a piece of my paneling. This is the cattle panels that we use on all of our fencing. And I put it into these walls of the uh, little drive cattle guard here and I made it to where it can flex up so if we have rushing water or things that this here can flap and move but it will always fall back down into place so it'll always so if there is rushing water most water can come right through there heavy heavy water or even debris can kind of come through and maybe even push it open push it up a little bit which is fine but it'll always fall back into place and so that's important and that way our goats cannot go up in there. Uh, you also know we have... That's a goat bridge, Trixie. That's my goat bridge. The goats do come from this side over here. And they like to walk along. And they want to come across that way. So we have a, a goat bridge set up. Trixie, <laughs> you like the goat bridge? I'm gonna, I got me a lighter in my pocket. I'm gonna light this on fire here, try to get all that scrap stuff burnt. And then I'm gonna come by. Last thing I'm gonna do, the very last thing, is take all of that dirt there and push it on over in here, which will hopefully build up and support the back, the back side of this here. Oh, I can't get those out anymore. But uh, I don't think we're gonna need the kind of support here that they had before. This is all Mr. Dub's doing here. They got somehow some pipe put in the ground and they built them a little retaining, a little backside retaining wall to prevent cave offs and stuff. So I'm just going to push that dirt over into here and get it off the driveway area. Light this on fire. And uh, there is one last thing I want to do. I don't, I hope y'all will join me on this. Y'all want to join me? So I have crawled myself underneath here to show you something. Look. For everyone who is getting on to me about pulling the concrete after I had the timber set, guys, I wanted to do that because these timbers wanted them to be in the cement. We wanted these timbers to be in the cement, but you can see the water that hits the, on the driveway can flow right down through there and fall through all of the cracks. Let me go a little bit further over here and show you the same thing. So, this is going to be perfect. Last thing that I want to do, though, is something. Look at there. Look at that. Look at that. Any water rushing down my driveway is going to come right on down through there and fall right into this void. Isn't that cool? Isn't that the coolest thing?
Longhorn Lester. <sighs> Maybe in 50 years, someone will come by to do a little patch up and repair. And we'll say, dang, who's that? Who's that? Who's that LHL guy? Who's who? In the... What weirdo would have climbed down into this old hole and sc scratched an LHL into this big old heavy timber? Yeah, that would be me. That'd be this guy right here. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.